Hello, so I thought we'd do a quick video. Somebody wanted to see how I created my, what I call my messy mis mixed media journal pages, as in these. They've collaged and then they've just got stamps, um, just a, all sorts of bits and pieces on them. Um, so I thought I'd do, try and do a quickish video. I've got some Liquitex matte medium in my little pot. I've got a very large tub of it, so it's much easier to have it just in a little pot. I've got some paper artsy tissue, which has had holes burnt in it. I've got some napkin layers, which I used to catch surplus spray stains, which were created with using infusions so they're quite nice I've got some book pages of assorted types some from stamp collecting books a bit of a map page some words all sorts of bits and pieces and also a inky piece don't know whether we'll use that but we'll see oh and I've got some uh, washi tapes as well and I'll then create one one that was gifted to me I think that was a gifted to me as well I think that was from my friend Abby so I just it's very very random I just get a nice lot of matte medium down to set off with this is my little mini journal I call it my mini it's six inches square and the pages are very thin they're just cheap little they're supposed to be scrapbooks but they're just very cheap ones they're two pound basically um but by the time i've got all the collage and everything else on the pages warp a bit I don't mind, it's my art journal, it's not for sale, it's just for me to have fun. So, it is what it is. And by the time that they're completed and full and I close them up, most of the pages go flat anyway. So... Now this particular paper, it does, um, it goes quite transparent by the time it's got the matte medium on it, but by the time it's in all the layers it doesn't matter. If I've got a straight edge, I'm going with a straight edge on a straight edge. Now I won't put that one down yet because I want that nice wavy edge. I'll go this in a corner and I actually don't mind if I get creases, lumps and bumps that's fine because it adds texture don't always put any medium on the back. I should do because it works better if you have it on both surfaces but I'm usually in too much of a rush.
Oops. No, I want that fairly straight. So a little bit of the the mass, I think. I don't mind if bits overlap and cover other bits up. Oh no. I want that to go over there. Alright, so I think we're done with the book pages every and everything else. I don't think we'll bother with that. I think that's too heavy. I think we'll go with some of this now. Quite like this. Again, I like the creases, if I get creases in this, I like that. So it adds texture when I put the next layer on. way up. I hope we're still in shot. It's been moving I know. Right, I think so far so good. I think we'll add some washi. And of course I've got matte medium on here, hopefully it should stick it on. So a bit more of that. We'll go up the top here. to go on the edges with bits that are straight.
the end of this one. Like some linear lines. I've got very organic so far, so we'll have some linear elements as well. We'll go for the edge. So I think we've got everything sort of adhered. A little route through our paper, see if there's anything else we want to put on. Got this, and I really like this. Which I don't know whether it's going to be too dark. We'll go on, we'll give it a go. Quite like that on there. We've got a nice bit of texture with that. And I think I might go there with that. As you can see, I don't mind if I cover up things from before it all adds to the depth of the piece yeah quite like that so I think we're done with the collaging so I'll dry that right so we're back it's nearly dry I'm giving it a quick dry with my heat gun I've got some PBO Studio Acrylics White Gesso and my little, you could use a credit card um, but I just use this little spatula and I'm just going to get a bit of gesso on here and just swipe it down. It'll go where it goes, it'll pick up the texture and it'll make it just look a little bit more cohesive. I do tend to concentrate on the edges because I like the fact that it almost frames it. But you can see where there's texture in the tissue. It picks that texture up which is nice. I don't mind that some bits get lost. There we are. And we've nearly completely lost that piece of tissue. Doesn't bother me. I quite like the fact that it's just it's in there but it's integrated now. Yeah. So I think that's enough. See, I need another journal just to use this gesso up. Oh. Ah, there. No. I've lost my other journal that I normally mop my, my uh, gesso up with. Never mind, it can go in here. This is just a little sketchbook, so we'll use it up in here. Probably going to take this on my holidays with me and do various things in it, doodling, etc. But it'll just be quite good to use this up. Saves it being wasted. Right. Let's get rid of 
that's out of the way. And that's out of the way for the moment. So I'll give it a quick blast. Now, I think I need a little bit more gold. Dithering about leaving it like that, but I think I'll just go with a little bit of gold. Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll just get one of our spare bits of... This is just watercolour paper that I've got scattered about. And we'll just yeah, I think that's enough. And then that gives us another piece of collage paper. So I quite like that as it is, but I need some stamping. So we'll go with this one. Just randomly pick the first one that came to hand. This is one by Seth Apter for Paper Artsy, and I like this. But I like that one, but I like this little one here and I love this one. So, oh, I've just lost one. There we are. I like that one. I like that one. I like that linear one. But they do also quite like that one. So we'll have those out. I'll have my black archival. I might go to the sepia as well. I think I'm going to go fairly bold across here, linear. Yes, I like that. Because we've gone there, I like to offset it up here a little bit as well. Just so it's cohesive. So that's that. I like this one with the squares. Now I think I'm going to put it on a block. It might not stick because I've been using it quite often freehand and then they don't always stick because they've got the moisture from your hands and everything. Stops the uh, easy mount from sticking. Yeah, I think that that'll be quite nice. And we've got a pale area up here, so I'm going to go up here. But I'm going to carry it right across, and then down there as well. Quite like that. So what else shall we do? I think this needs a bit of something. So we've got this one. So I'm just going to go... Ah, yes, that's it. It looks lovely on the pale areas. Yeah, I like that. And it almost gives it a sort of a frame. Don't forget, you can go second generation stamping. If it's too dark, just dab it off and do a bit of second generation stamping. So I'm really quite happy with that. I don't... Mm, do I need that? I'll give it a... Just give it a little bit of a play. quite like this, the fact that it's uneven. Yeah, I'll just go in there, there at the top. Yeah, that's enough. So we're back. I found these words in my little box of words. Timeless, which I think 
sits quite nicely there and very small, truthful. So I'm just going to stick those on with some PVA. Get it the right way up. I think I'm just going to go here. One, this one, just at the top here, there, that's it, and then I think we'll just do a little bit of a mark making up here, this is, um, I think it's meant for putting chips on in the oven, but it's quite nice for using as a stencil for just a bit of mark making because it's quite a random shape just for a bit here it just gives it a little bit of interest and a little bit darker mark making And you can sort of just do three sides if you want. Yeah, I think we'll just have another little one there. That's it. Yeah, I think that's enough. Maybe just some little white circles to lighten this area. And it might be when you do little white circles with your white gel pen that it soaks up the underneath colour of whatever medium is underneath it. That's fine. I like the, the uh, contrast of the, the paler colour on the dark just there. And we'll put two or three here as well. And you can do some solid ones as well as open. Sometimes I'll just do little lines. Just it's just adding interest wherever you think it needs any. Don't overthink it, just go with the flow. Yeah, that's it, and I think we're done. So we've got lots of little interesting bits. There's quite a bit of texture because of the tissue, but we've also broken up the horizontal lines of the tape but we've put some more horizontal lines in. I think I'll possibly just go around those with white with my gel pen just randomly just to bring them to the fore a little bit. Yeah that's enough. So I hope you like that and I hope you give it a go. Just go with the flow.